An important question, and it may seem odd, is why do you need low gain small antennas? And what I mean by small antennas, and I'll show you some examples here, is the typical antennas that you use at credit card machines, indoor, machine to machine. So this would be one example um, from a, another manufacturer. We make this one, it can mount on boxes. And they are, generally speaking, this is a blade antenna that you can also use for credit card machines. They generally speaking, in other words, used for areas where you don't know where the base station is, somewhere in the building, put it next to it and you're hoping for it to work. The reason why low gain is the best there is one must go back to my explanation of gain which says that something that radiates in all directions, and that's in three dimensions like a balloon, is got a gain of zero dBi. Nothing wrong with that. It means it very effectively radiates in all directions. Gain is achieved by squashing, in other words, by taking signal away somewhere and putting it somewhere else. Now for a small antenna you would actually like something that's got sort of two bubbles to the side if your antenna sits there because you want to generate and from the top it must go in all directions. So if you look at the antenna from the top, so that's looking from the side, you want it to be even like this. Now if you actually get this type of pattern, which is ideal, your gain would be 1 to 2 dBi. That is the ideal gain for a small antenna. Because if anyone tells you that the antenna has got 5 or 60, and I see many of them, what did that mean? It means that this antenna is not well designed and it gives you something like that. And your antenna is sitting there, which means it radiates well in perhaps that direction and that may be like 5 dB. I. And everyone wants to buy this antenna. Can you see what mess it is if you look from the top? Because what's happening here is you get minus 4, minus 3 here, minus 2 here, perhaps you get 0 there. But you don't know who's going to put this thing on. They're going to turn it this way, that way around, which is why this is by far the best. So when you buy a small antenna, actually look for something where the gain is small because that tells you that the guy didn't squeeze anything and he's got hopefully a fairly good pattern. The only exception I would put to that is if you've got really small antennas which are embedded in devices like the stuff that sits in your cell phone there you could find and you do find gain goes low because the actual efficiency of the antenna cannot be achieved when it's this size but when an antenna is and I would say bluntly speaking between 7 and 10 centimeters long low gain is good because I can tell you those antennas are typically 100% efficient and low gain will then mean the guy achieved a smooth pattern. He didn't squeeze it somewhere in order to get a high gain or accidentally and high gain actually means problems.